All right, y'all. We figured we'd do a quick Woods report. Mm -hmm. We've been watching a lot of Viola Davis um, interviews. Promoting her book. Too. Promoting her book. And the movie. And the show that she's in. Oh, yeah, yeah. The first... First the, Wives. Not First Wives. The First, first Ladies or first something. First Ladies. Something okay. like that with the, mm -hmm. the ladies of the um, United States. Right, right. And she played Michelle Obama. Mm -hmm. And what made me spark this is because mm -hmm. people was criticizing her, making her mouth look like <laughs> how Michelle Obama does. How does Michelle do her mouth? She does do that, but not as much as Viola oh, Davis wow, was. Oh, wow. She's and, uh, overdoing it. Yeah, and so she was <laughs> kind of upset about people criticizing her, oh, her role. Okay. So I was telling Lenore, I said, it's nothing wrong with people criticizing. Right, right. You just, you just have to be able to let that bounce off. You have to have thick skin. So there's a actor. reason. I said, mm -hmm. there has to be a reason why she takes things so personal. Mm -hmm. And when you hear about her story and mm -hmm. stuff in her life, then mm -hmm. it makes sense. Mm -hmm. So you said when you saw her on The View, what did she mm -hmm. talk about on The well, View? Well, you know that she's been on a lot of talk shows, so she's promoting that new book of hers. Right. Um, and I can't think of the name of it right now, but it gives a lot about her uh, life story growing up. Uh -huh. And like most people were thinking, she she had a, 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 a experience, a hardship. She had like poverty. people was ch chasing her, the Boys white would kids. Chase her home white, call her the N word. And she went to a white school, right, or something. I don't know if she went to an all white school. But she I know she had she, a lot of racial, a lot of, a lot of yeah. uh, she was chased home, teased, teased about her color, called her she was ugly. Real dark. And poor, right? So and she poor. was stink yeah. when she would go to school. I and think even sexually abused. Sexually abused. Mm -hmm. So she had a hard... She had some tough times. And I watched mm -hmm. her today on um, The Breakfast Club. Mm, okay. And she was dropping a lot of um, good nuggets. Good nuggets. So I wrote down some, some of them. Some people may think okay. Some people, like we said, may be delirious. They so think what was... She just I had wrote down something. some of the things oh, that she said. Oh, you were saying passing the baton to yourself. I liked when she talked never about... I heard that. You usually, when people talk about passing the baton, they usually talk about... To someone so, else. To someone else. Mm -hmm. Like, you overcome something, mm -hmm. and you pass, pass the, the baton, baton to someone to and someone teach else them. To take, and you know, your place. Right, right. Or teach you. Teach the, the mentoring. Mentor, yeah. Uh -huh. She said you... you uh, her um, psychiatrist helped her to understand that... Mm -hmm. She was passing the baton to herself. Mm. So four-year-old Viola was mm -hmm. passing the baton to, to ten-year-old year Viola, okay. and ten-year-old Viola was passing the That's baton different. to fourteen-year-old Viola, and so on and so on mm -hmm. and so on. Because she said when she went into her, um, when she started going into, you know, to sit down with the psychiatrist mm -hmm. or whatever, mm -hmm. uh, therapist. I'm saying psychiatrist. Therapist. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. She said she thought that the young girl in her she was making trying to connect with the young girl in her that was mm, abused and everything yeah, yeah. to make her stronger and she, and her doctor told her no oh. it's the young girl in her she was strong okay she the one that survived I, exactly so she, tell her story she passing the baton on to you you are she all those things you learned yes yeah, when you was young all her, of those things now. the being chased at home yes, the being teased, in poverty yes. the being teased yes. the being sexually abused mm -hmm. all of that Mm -hmm. is left life, life lessons mm -hmm. that you know you now. Where she's at now. And, and you can use those lessons because uh -huh. you learned them back then. Right, And right. I love the fact that she used that verse, Count It All Joy. Uh-huh. Wow. And I told the Nord Bible. See, a lot of stuff the therapist is telling you <laughs> is in the <laughs> Bible. <laughs> it's biblical. But I listen. I listen uh -huh. when people talk about the therapist uh -huh. and I find 16 <laughs> scriptures <laughs> that match everything uh -huh. you just paid. to tell you that was wisdom the, the bible word. says count it all joy uh -huh. all of it yes. all of it it's the good the bad that. the ugly it's hard to do all that. of it count it all when joy it makes you who you are it when it's that's a tough one too and i and i'm, I'm so happy that she's able to share that because she's able, she's alive to tell the story yes yes it didn't hurt what when, when, when she overcomes she's yes. still living to tell yes. it yes yes when i was going through my 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 diagnosis oh yeah your diagnosis treatment that was hard to count it all joy. Because at the time, you're in You're in it. pain and you're whatever. You're in it. Yeah. You're like, ooh, this hurts. This is yeah. good. I don't want to be in it. Right. But her, her testimony is And you said strong. one time, you said um, you saw um, Bernard Jordan say, oh, yeah. somebody was asking, if you're going through something, mm -hmm. how do you know that that's coming mm -hmm. from the devil mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Or if God is testing right. you we and he's allowing Bible. the devil, right. whatever. We, How do you know it's for God or for yeah, We were for at the a devil. Bible study at our old, one of our old churches and Bernard Jordan was the guest um, speaker there. And one of the ladies, he allowed people to come up and ask a question. And she asked well, that she question. she asked that question and you always hear, you always ask, think in your head, how do you know where this... Right, the, right. The, am I going through a Job experience it, yeah, or am I as a tech? Am, am, am I, did I, um, am I and reaping what he the seeds? Like, am I reaping what I've sold? Right, Maybe. what did he say? Is it a generational curse? He said, it's not... Don't, as far as don't look at where it's coming from, right? But how you respond, how you respond to it, to it. how you react, how you how you go from that moment right. on instead of sitting and going, where is this coming and it's from? Always is this amaz- the devil? It is always this, uh, amazes me when people yes. are going through whatever and they mm-hmm. still praise God. Yes. I always tell people, you stronger than me. Because uh-huh. I don't I don't know if I can. I'm telling y'all. Uh-huh. And people say, Oh, you can't, Kim, the Holy Spirit help you. Okay, whatever, we'll see. I'm just being honest to say that physically in my mind, I don't know if I can do that. Ooh, so God bless everything. anybody oh. who's going through anything or whatever, and you mm-hmm. still praise God through yes. it and in spite of it. And inspire somebody else. And inspire somebody yours else. may be hitting the same. A lot of times when you're going through your boohoo moment, right. I hear other stories of people in their cancer. When I sat there and heard about how long yeah. they had to have chemo and yep. radiation, and yep. I sit there and go, "Oh, let me shut up with my little three Or months. even when you went so through, so I feel like the man, the person with the, the complaining about the feet. Or even when you went through, no you had to go back and look at other people who came mm-hmm. to you and asked you, "How did you get through it? Make it through?" Right, and so I was you may get, help. you yeah. may get all the stuff. That's what I loved about Viola Davis, yeah, with all that Viola, stuff that she went through, yes, everything yes. made her who she is, and yes. it helped her. To be able to um, help other people. Mm-hmm. What else did I say about her? Um, you said about her husband. She prayed for her husband. Julius. Exactly what she prayed for. Whoa. She wanted a big guy from her area, from D.C. area, something okay, like that, she said. She's from. Okay. A guy who was a, a Christian, uh-huh. who went to church, uh-huh. and a guy who she said, no, who didn't want kids, who had his own oh. kids, so he wouldn't pressure her to okay, have any kids. That's something. And somebody who was in in the arts but wasn't an art an actor. He wasn't an actor. But he was had, that, he could he be did in the one arts. part though in um how to get away. But from he murder. respect the arts, not understand her life. Yeah, yeah. But not an art. She, she didn't played, want an actor. So she and she said, God. But hold on, she made a deal with God, which I Uh-oh. do all the time. Uh-oh. She said, God, if you bless me with this man, I promise you, I'll go to church. She uh, sure did. Did she? She said three <laughs> weeks later she met <laughs> Julius, her husband. And he was an ex football, I think an ex football player. Really? Already got kids. Oh my goodness! Sense of humor, something like that. Hey, all the stuff, all the stuff she said. And he said, and the day, first date, he asked her to go to church with him. No, he didn't. <laughs> You're kidding. Won't he do uh, it? Ah, won't he do it? Yes. What's he the will. other? What's yes, the other stuff? He will. I love uh, Viola Davis. My issue: Don't take yourself too seriously. Critics is don't what it take is. yourself too serious. That's mm-hmm. the only issue that I have with mm-hmm. Viola Davis because with all the stuff that she's gone mm-hmm. through, everything that she's mm-hmm. gone through, you can tell she's still struggling in mm-hmm. that area. Mm-hmm. Still struggling in that area. We're not perfect. She's, she, they're not perfect, and she knows we're that. Striving to you be. know that. Yes. And what people say about her mm-hmm. and about what she does, mm-hmm. it affects her. Mm-hmm. It really affects her very deeply, right. and a lot of that has to do with how you were raised and all of that. Okay. And she's still battling with that and still going through. Because to me, if you don't like it, so what? Right, right. Don't watch it. Yeah. That's how I am. But exactly. everybody not like that. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So she's positive. Think okay. positive. Like speak that. positive about, you, you said, know. Um, life is like driving your car. Gas full, Oh, she said, because people, you know how people ask you every day, how mm. you doing? How you doing? Yeah. And you may say, Monday, I'm doing great. I'm doing good. And then they see you Wednesday and you mm-hmm. down and depressed. Girl, and they say, wait a minute. You was doing good Monday. <laughs> Life is like a car. Uh-huh. It's like every you, you some days you have gas. gas that's full. Sometimes the tank is is not. Sometimes she said you end up on the side of the road waiting for AAA oh, to come get Lord, you. No, so it's no. not you know it's, it's not a, every single day. Every day is not the same. Oh, it's an adventure. Wow, you out on the wow, road with other people. Wow. Other people affect how you drive. Uh-huh. So if you could be driving mind your own business, somebody mm-hmm. come in your lane. It was an accident that happened mm-hmm. yesterday mm-hmm. or the day before in Waukegan mm-hmm. or Gurney. Right. Where right. a car oh, came God, into yeah. the other and lane. We're over in that area all the time. A car came in their lane. They're not even bothering and you nobody. Can't do nothing about that. It's and like, you can't oh my do nothing God, about it. 
hopefully, prayerfully, exactly. if something like that happens, that you, you move, like, angels, please yep. do something. But so you don't know. You so never know. Each day, and then I like how she said, I know I wrote this down, how people, there are people in your life mm -hmm. at certain seasons or certain mm -hmm. times. Mm -hmm. Sometimes somebody can be at your life right at that time. It don't mean they're supposed to be in your life forever. Oh, yeah. Or they A may season. just be, it may be for just that minute. A she season. said one, mm -hmm. one of her teachers or somebody told her it was a man mm -hmm. and he told her you so beautiful she said that changed everything oh because she has never she never heard never that before heard that. one time and i saw today mm -hmm. on um tiktok it was, i think it was tiktok mm -hmm. it was a little girl who came to school every day her hair was natted up mm -hmm. and a teacher said let me just do her hair and she did her hair totally the little did a little Aww. girl's hair the little girl loved it Aww. totally changed that little girl's whole thing now of course there's some old ignorant parents that be don't touch why are you touching my child's hair <laughs> whatever but apparently the mom didn't say anything okay. thank goodness Aww. and she didn't show the face of the girl she just showed the back of her Aww. hair and okay. i like that That's i thought that beautiful. was nice so you could be a teacher who yes. can speak into somebody's yes. life or you could be somebody, you might be the one that's doing something bad to somebody mm. that's still building that person's character. Ooh, you don't See? think about that. People don't even think time. about that. It's and, not and always good. But we're not a good person. Good people don't good always build your being. character. Bad people build your character too. Or you could say something. Like I could have done a joke on somebody and they didn't like it. And they went home and cried in their pillow <laughs> yeah, and cursed me. Them. God, I hate you for the rest of my life. <laughs> and that she made them think Thank God for me, because oh, I helped make well, you, you wanna, stronger in person who you are today. You, I think you, you safer. <laughs> you want to be the positive person but today in the life. You doing that because you. I mean, you safe for being positive and imparting in it, like because you want to speak life. Right, 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 right. But sometimes you want to plant a seed. But sometimes you might plant a seed. I know, I know. It and you might really be a, need to pray for forgiveness. You need to pray. You may have planted yes, a seed in yes, that person's yes. life. And that, that's another seed of discouragement yes. for them. But I ask God, any mistakes I made in the past, count it all oh, joy. Lord, Lord use it to help build me. that person. Yes. Help make them a better person. Because yes. I ain't going back well, and taking thing, the joke back. Well, one so. thing I, I did, I like when Viola was talking about this on the, on the View, about her growing up seeing she didn't have any examples before her oh of yeah her color. yeah yeah and yeah Cicely Tyson yeah was, was her mentor was that her, was she, she loved Cicely she Tyson she was so excited to see a dark yeah. skin woman on in a movie yeah why are we so much into color that's another you don't that's see another topic a representation of yourself let's make that another it's topic it's a beautiful thing let's talk about we have if discord even amongst our our people of color with the darkness of our skin. We got to talk about that. Because I true? actually love dark men. Yeah. I, and I don't like my skin. And you but, always don't like... you. All, the grass is always green on the other yeah, side. Because I don't yeah. like my skin color. So I wish I was darker. Oh, See, if wow. somebody darker might wish... Whatever. Yeah. So let, yeah. we'll talk That's about that. That's a whole different That's topic. a whole nother... And hair. Oh, Lord. We'd be here all day We'd be here hair. all day. Y'all, we got... Hair. We got... Good hair. What's good hair? It's... it's you know what? It don't have a shotgun with it. What's good hair? Good hair is not angry hair like mine. Like yours. But still, some people may say that's good hair. That's it. Hey, that on. ain't no good hair. Everybody relax. If you breaking cones and everybody, brushes, everybody, somebody and you can't say, get a part in. Somebody hurt, may say you ain't that's supposed, not good. Somebody may say you ain't supposed to be combing it. It's supposed to be natural. It's supposed to be look. No, no, hold no, on. No, gotta that's a whole nother, whole nother topic. Whole nother you gotta topic. Comb through that. No, you gotta comb no. Through who who invented the comb? Who invented the comb? Uh, no. Uh, <laughs> Let's. That's another topic. Nah, so nah. we just wanted to come on quick and talk about <laughs> keep it one hundred. Let's keep it one hundred. Where the word angry come it's from? Why went? Why when I'm upset, the word angry come out? It's angry because no. Why would see. somebody say you angry? Why he why he upset but I'm angry? <laughs> Y'all know what I'm going with that. No, no, no. That's another no, topic. No, no. The word is hostile. Oh hostile. I told yeah. my job. Why am I hostile? And I'm sick. And she angry. That, oh, 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 that's it's another so funny because it happened in my one of in my that's job. Another, no, no, no. Let's do that on another my one. My coworker. No, no, let's do that on another one. Alright, y'all. We're gonna do that on another we one. Both because I don't want her taking how upset we were, but she I don't was want hostile. Her, I don't want her to take that. She was upset. I don't want her to tell that story on this one. Well, that could build another story. Wow. Remember, we get paid for these YouTube videos. <laughs> Don't be sharing all your stories okay. on one. I just thing. thought of that and I had to say it. All right, well, you thought of it. Think of but, it again yeah. when the camera rolled but again. Good, all right, so that's it. Good hair, angry. All right, whatever. That's angry. another. That's another topic. You see how we're gonna be going back and forth. <laughs>
So that's another topic, y'all. Be sure to tune in when we talk about good hair, bad hair. Because I'm going to say, what is bad hair? They have a gun, a military yes, uh, yes. thing on it. It's making a fist. Okay. It's ready to fight. All right, y'all. So that okay. was what, that was just our little small little take Davis. on Bible Davis. I love her as Great an actress. actress. Love She's her. a good actress. She's a Great good, actress. She has a good spirit. Great actress. And I love when I see actors and, um, and, and, and actors, actresses. Have a uh, good spirit. When they have a good spirit and yeah. they contribute to Not a-holes. Yeah. Just we, don't we be an a-hole. got a lot of them, too. So. We got good athletes and a ho athletes. A ho athletes. But if you're a ho, you're a ho. Yeah. So hopefully you're changed. All right, y'all. So, so that was our thing, our take on Viola Davis. Mm -hmm. Make sure you get her book. You I read her book. Okay, make sure you read her book, uh -huh. everything about her. Yeah. You have anything else? No, that's All right, it. guys. So that was another, another Woods Report. Report. See you later.